Welcome to a video from thedigitallife.com. In this video we're going to have a look at the new Windows 10 Insider Preview Build 16232. And I'm pleased to say I've had a lot less problems installing this build than I have with previous builds. Um, or the, the previous build I should say. So install works first time. It, it was slow, well over an hour to actually install it. But um, once it was up and running, it was working. It, it's, you know, once it's the download started, it was fine. Just a bit slow. So that's good to see that they've improved that. I was a bit concerned that they changed the mechanism and that it was going to cause problems in the future, but it didn't. So a couple of things on this build is um, they seem they're not updating the out-of-box apps anymore. So those are your standard apps, like your mail app and whatever, because they're testing the shipping apps of those. So if they update the movies and TV apps, for example, these uh, insider builds won't pick that up because uh, they're testing the ones that ship with the, the build. There's a lot of security changes in this build. Some of them require enterprise addition. The one that I'm going to uh, look at that is um, a couple of changes that I'm going to look at that are consumer based ones are up here. And this is a particularly interesting one. This um, controlled access so what you can do you can switch that on like that and applications can't then save to the uh, can't make changes to a folder without permission so I'll see if I can show you that can't save to, to that folder now I thought the way that and there you go there's the notification for it I'm just going to turn this off so it doesn't mess with the recording software I thought that that was um, folder by folder control in fact you um, you can pick allowed apps and you can pick allowed folders I think there's still some development work to be done on that because it currently just blocks everything and you've got to then manually go override it. I would have thought you could just um, protect a single folder, um, which is what it does say in the notes. So um, there's still some work to do and maybe I need to do some more uh, playing around with that to test that as well. But like I said, while I'm doing this recording software, which does use these folders, I don't want it to break it. So that's uh, one set of changes. Other changes are actually relatively minor. They fixed issues with... Um, .NET Framework, which was causing problems with, it, with the recent install. They fixed an issue with the uh, start menu and some UWP apps. They fixed some dev, um, some Defender security issues. Uh, they fixed some hotkey stuff and uh, some XAML stuff as well. There's still a few known issues. You may get an error uh, 0x800 and it'll roll back and they're investigating that. And there's some things like Twitter may um, crash on launch. So have a look at the release notes for that. But those are the changes of this build. There's not too many. These security features are very uh, interesting and timely as well with these ransomware. And that protected, that blocked protected folder thing would then help mitigate anything like that because it wouldn't be able to make the virus wouldn't be able to make the changes. So definitely need to check out that a bit more. Have a look at. Um, the release notes on the digitallife.com and you can go back on our YouTube channel and look at all the builds right back to the very first Windows 10 build. So thanks for watching this one.